Remember in the movie Pump Up the Volume where those two kids in the car sat in the parking lot of high school because they could hear a pirate radio station? They say this is where the reception is the coolest. Then he probably lives right around here. Well, we're in a parking lot at a high school and yes, we're listening to a pirate radio station. At 94.5 on the FM dial, it's a pirate radio station in our town. Here's a frequency search that I did on the FCC website. I took a 60 kilometer radius of our town here and here's a listing of all the radio stations licensed to our town. If you take a look down here you will notice there is no 94.5. Now, tonight I think we're going to go on a hunt for this pirate radio station and we've come equipped with some uh, uh, high-tech equipment. What you're looking at is a spectrum analyzer and we're going to center the display here. The one right in the middle is our pirate radio station and we're going to go and see if we can find him. Now, this little radio station is on the air. It's just 15 minutes after midnight. And you can tell it's a pirate radio station by listening. Now, some homegrown rock and roll on Modern Rock 94.5. I thought that was pretty cute. They have their own liners. They actually sound really good. And they're very powerful right here, as you can see. So we're gonna go on a journey and find these guys. At least make an attempt. Uh, as we drive, you'll be able to see that the signal will change. As you can see, the center signal is staying really strong, even though we're like maybe a half a block away or so already. We're going to keep going in one direction here. I think we'll go out uh, west and uh, see how far the signal reaches west. It's a crude way of like direction finding and uh, it's a way to kind of hone in on where a signal is at because you can look directly at the intensity. As you can see it's come down just the tiniest bit but more so than that the stations adjacent to it the one to the left is 93.7 and the one to the right is 95.1. Trying to drive and keep this thing focused at the same time is going to be a challenge, but we'll do the best we can for you. Modern Rock 94.5. Nobody even comes close. Okay, as you can see, the signal is starting to, to decrease a little bit compared to the ones around it. So that indicates that we're going the wrong way. So I think at our next opportunity here, we'll turn around and come back and go the other direction. And we'll see if we can get a better, higher intensity signal. They seem to be playing a mix of 80s and uh, uh, local music along with 
some of the new, newer and uh, more current stuff. Okay, now we're headed back east. Our signal should start getting stronger again as we go back to where we started. Okay, right here we're about six blocks from where we started and you can see the signal's already starting to climb. It's starting to get really, really intense. If it gets too high, I may have to go to a different scale. What that'll do is it will uh, keep the, the uh, 94.5 signal on the screen, but it will reduce the other ones. We'll see if we can get her centered here a little better. We'll give her down one, there we go. Keep her on scale. Thank goodness we're at a stoplight, gives us a chance to do this. <laughs> okay, man, it's getting really intense. Look at that, it's going right out the top. Holy cow. Okay, it's real close around here someplace. Okay, it's starting to come back down now, so we passed it. We'll circle around, see if we can hone in on the particular block that the signal is at. Obviously we're driving farther away from it. Our philosophy is very simple. If it's not alternative, it sucks. Okay, we're